Alright. Ready. Welcome to Laugh Kings NFL Picks and Best Bets Week 8 Edition. So, as always, let's recap Week 7. And how the week seven looks. The first the person who ended up winning week seven was Jace with a record of ten and five on fire. And it brings your total of a really good total at 58, 45, and 4. Uh your best bets looking good now too. Up to five and two. Really, really good. Taking the lead in the overall standings as well. Leaving y'all in the dust. Leaving JR in the dust. Leaving That's Sammy all the way in the dust. <laughs> you can't even see Sammy. That's <laughs> <laughs> yeah, true. And you'll see the record soon. But last week, JR came second with eight and seven, which brings his total very close to you, Jace. It's 56, 47, and four. So he's two off. His best bets is two and five. So if you guys were tying that tiebreaker, not so good on best bets gotta get those best bets up and i finished below 500 last week it finished at seven and eight still not bad but it brings my total to 47 56 and four uh best bets perfect seven and oh yeah. lock him in with my you know best who you bets. are you are you're that the guy who comes up fourth Expected to either swing and a miss or hit the home run. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I, I strike out more than I <laughs> hit the home run, but Wait, when I hit the home run, it's a 500 footer. <laughs> All right, so that's an update on where we're at after week seven. So let's head in to week eight. Good news is there's always time to catch up to Jace. <laughs> so let's kick it off. We got our Thursday night game. We have the Minnesota Vikings traveling to the LA Rams. The Vikings are favored by minus three on the road. And I'm going to go with the Vikings. Looking impressive all year. Good game against the Lions. So I'll take minus three on the road for the Vikings. Yeah, man. Totally can agree with you. Have the Vikings to cover the spread on this one. Yep. And I got the Vikings as well on this one. All right. We'll go right into the disclaimer game because we're all Titans fans. I know Jace took his best bet last week and went against N1. So maybe he's smarter than the rest of us. But let's go Tennessee Titans on the road against the Detroit Lions with Detroit big time favored over the Titans. And as we know, Ernest Jones... De DeAndre Hopkins both traded full rebuild mode um, for the Titans so God knows what you're going to get out of them and you know it's they in my heart they should get rid of the quarterback too oh maybe <laughs> maybe next season we'll see for me I know it's a 11 point spread at, for the Lions at home give me the Titans to cover oh. the <laughs> I'm just giving games oh, away here. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, believe it or not, I'll actually agree with Uncle Savvy on this one. I think the spread is too big. Detroit is a major player. But I'll only go with the Buffalo Bills over the Titans. But in this one, I got to take the Titans. I think someone will show up. Someone has to show up. It can't be this bad. <laughs> it could be, too. You never know. <laughs> could be this bad. <laughs> And I got to stay loyal. I, I still got to go with the Titans. Yes, it's a huge spread for the Lions. But I don't know. We got to ride the train till the wheel fall off. So I'm sticking with the Titans here. All right. We're all on the, we both, we're all in the, on the same page with the first two games. So we'll head over. I think we might all be on the same page here as well. Let's see. Heading to the Baltimore Ravens on the road against the Cleveland Browns. Deshaun Watson is out for the year. There's a lot of memes and jokes about the massage and stuff. We'll leave it. We'll leave <laughs> it. Like, we're not going to touch it. But um, I'll take the Baltimore Ravens on the road to cover the minus nine. Yeah, I got the Ravens on this one. I don't think 
Deshaun Watson was doing anything this year, so him out, I don't think it actually matters. But I got the Ravens. The Ravens are amazing. Yeah, same here. Got the Ravens. The Browns just have a forgettable season. So I think at this point, yeah, I got to go with the Ravens on this one. All right. So far, three games, all the same pick. Let's see. We got the Colts on the road against the Houston Texans. Uh, I think the Houston Texans are starting to gel. So I'll take the Texans to cover the five points on the road. I'm on at home. Sorry. I got the Colts on this one. I'm going against what you're saying, Uncle Sammy. Got the Colts to uh, cover the spread. Yeah, and I also got the Colts as well. Mm. Yeah, uh, they're they're they're. Yeah, the, the Texans have been kind of finding their groove lately, but the Colts are uh, kind of a middle right. of the pack team. They're they're all right. So I think I'm going to ride with the Colts on this one. Mm, interesting. Here we go. If we finally disagreeing, which is good. Uh, got the Green Bay Packers on the road against the Jacksonville Jaguars. Uh, the Packers are favored by four on the road. I'm going to take the Packers with the minus four. I like the, what the Packers are doing. Yeah, they're, they're pretty solid. They had a good win last week. I think the Packers are going to take this one. Yeah, and I got the Packers as well. They're, they're, they're a pretty good team. They, they've, they, they've got it going on. So for me, I got the Packers on top. All right, moving on to the Atlanta Falcons on the road against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. I have, and the Falcons on the road are favored by minus two and a half. I have no idea what the Buccaneers were doing on Monday night. They're down big, trying to come back with like two minutes left. Made Chris Godwin dislocate his ankle for for no reason. Like... So no Mike Evans, no Chris Godwin. I don't think they have the weapons. So I think the Atlanta Falcons to cover minus two and a half on the road. Yeah, I was thinking about the same thing too, but I I know they started the season really good. Um, I still have some faith in them. I know they're down a, a few men, but um, I got the Bucks to to bring it close and cover the spread. Yeah, I, I, I got the Bucks as well. Um, and if I'm not mistaken, the Bucks are at home for this yeah, game. Yeah. yeah. Um, so for the Falcons, it is going to be a tough atmosphere for them to play at uh, Raymond James Stadium. But I do think, though, even though the Bucks are down a few key players, I think they'll, uh, they'll come out on top in this one. All right. Got the New York Jets at the New England Patriots. Jets on the road. Uh, a lot of road teams are favored this week, so Jets are favored minus seven on the road. Uh, I'm gonna take the minus seven and go with the Jets. I'm thinking the Jets gotta figure it out one of these days. Like I don't know, they got the you know they have Aaron Rodgers with the players that he was with, you know, um, Devonte Adams and Lazard. So he has some familiarity. I don't know, it's gotta click. So I'll just take the Jets minus seven on the road. No, I got the Patriots to cover this one. Um, the Jets are a few years away. I, that team with Aaron Rodgers used to be. It's it's a number of seasons late for that. So I think I think we're over that hill. All right. Well, I actually got the Jets on this one. I think the Jets they show you potentials of being a good team or being just a complete mess. And I think if at this point of the season. This has got to be a game where they have to come out and make a statement or else it might be too late for them. So I think this is going to be their breakout game. And we're going to see we're going to see a veteran or a shades of a, a younger Aaron Rodgers coming out in this game. Man, y'all got false hope. Let's move on to the next one. <laughs> <laughs> it's almost like the Titans false hope. <laughs> Let's see. We got the Arizona Cardinals. Traveling to the uh, Miami Dolphins. Miami's favored minus three and a half. I uh, think Tua should be back. Nothing's guaranteed. Nothing's been official. Looks like he's going to try to come back for this game. You know, I'm going to assume Tua comes back and I'm going to take Miami at home to cover minus three and a half. Yeah, I, th I think I'm going along with Uncle Sammy. Hopefully he comes back and shows up. He'll probably work really hard and show up and try his best i just hope it's the right time for him yeah same here i got the dolphins and 
Whether Tua is starting or not starting, I do think, though, that this is kind of going to be some motivation for the Dolphins. It's been a, ra- uh, a rough period since Tua's been out, so I think even just hearing that he's potentially starting or maybe coming back um, very, very soon, I think that's going to motivate them. So I got the Dolphins coming out on top. All right, so we'll move over to the Philadelphia Eagles at the Cincinnati Bengals. Uh, Bengals are favored minus two and a half. I can't figure both of these teams out, to be quite honest with you. I think they both should be better than they are. Um, But I'll go with the Cincinnati Bengals at home to cover minus two and a half. I got the Eagles. The Bengals ain't doing nothing this year for some reason. Like you said, they should be better. Eagles show a little bit more signs of actually winning some games. So I think they're going to do a lot better than the Bengals. So I'm taking them. Yeah, I also got the Eagles as well. Um, Yes, the Bengals are at home. uh, And the Eagles are... Sorry, to be correct, the Bengals are at home, correct? Yeah. Yeah, Yeah, okay. And the Eagles are on the road. Um, But the Bengals just haven't really shown much promise this season. So I... Hard to go with them. I got to go against them. And I got the Eagles. All right. Moving on to the New Orleans Saints at the Los Angeles Chargers. The Chargers are favored at home, minus seven. Huh. That's a large spread. Chargers don't seem to like to win by a lot of points when they do win. I don't know. I think the Chargers should be better than they're playing. Just kind of let teams in, but I'm just going to take them at home, minus seven. I'll trust them to cover the spread. I'll give them, I'll give them that faith. Yeah, I got the Chargers to at home. Same here. I got the Chargers. It's a pretty big spread, but I think they could pull it off at home at least. So I got the Chargers. Yeah. All right. Got Buffalo Bills on the road in Seattle um, against the Seahawks. The Bills are favored minus three. Um, I think the Bills are starting to click a little bit i know playing the titans helps teams click a little bit anyway too so i'll take uh the bills minus three yeah i got the bills as well out of with that spread i think they're more than cover that yeah i got the bills as well i think they're they're coming around and they're gonna be they're gonna be a force to be reckoned with so i got i got the bills okay Next game, we got the Chicago Bears at the Washington Commanders. This game is tricky. We got the Bears favored on the road, minus three. Ah, Commanders are might. It looks like they're going to be out, um, Jaden Daniels, which means a familiar face for us, Marcus Mariota, who, who played really well. So... I know I'm I'm a little biased to my guy, so I'm gonna take the Commanders. I hope to cover <laughs> plus three. Yeah, and I don't even know why the Commanders are not the favorite in this team in this game, but I feel like they they got it. They gel they gelling really good this year. Um, Marcus, it'll be cool to see him again. So hopefully they can cover the spread at least. Got the Commanders. Yeah, I also got the Commanders as well. Um, I do, I, I don't think that the Bears are strong enough to take down the Commanders, even without, um, you know, the starting QB. And I do think Mariota is quite good. So I do think, though, that he'll fill that gap for, um, for the game against the Bears. So I, I got, uh, the Commanders here. All right. Got the Kansas City Chiefs traveling to the to Las Vegas to take on the Raiders. Chiefs are favored on the road, minus 10. Got a new wide receiver weapon that I anticipate probably will try to give it a go. So I'm just going to take the Chiefs, even without, you know, D-Hop. I think they might have a chance to cover minus 10. So I'm going to take the Chiefs minus 10 on the road. Yeah, that's not a question. Let's just move on. The Chiefs got this one. <laughs> well, no, I got I got the Chiefs as well. 
<laughs> All right, perfect. So, an interesting game here. Carolina Panthers are taking on the Denver Broncos in Denver. Broncos are favored minus 10. Andy Dalton not playing any again. Back to Bryce Young, which makes sense because you got to see what you have with Bryce Young, right? So, um, that being said, uh, too much going on with Carolina. Back and forth. So um, I, I'm going to take the Denver Broncos at home to cover minus ten. Yeah, I got the got the Broncos as well. I actually got the Panthers, and the reason why is you had the veteran Dalton come in, play a few games. You had the rookie sitting on the bench, or well, the young the young gun sitting on the bench, and I'm pretty sure he's been soaking up a lot of knowledge and. Uh, what not. So I think with um, Young playing again, I think this is going to be his breakout game. So I got uh, the Panthers. See, this is what separates you from me. <laughs> I, 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 I got to see that. We're going to do a recap. I'm going to mention this game. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> All right. Then we're going to the Sunday night game. We got the Dallas Cowboys taking on the San Francisco 49ers. Uh, in San Francisco, minus four to San Francisco. They got a lot of guys out. Like, um, I don't think Debo's going to play. He has pneumonia, was just in the hospital, just got out. Are uh, you done for the year? That's why it's important to sign those contracts, guaranteeing can be playing on a you know, one-year deal. So good job by you getting his long-term deal, especially without being out for the season. So even though weapons aren't there, I'm thinking the San Francisco 49ers defense should still help them enough to cover minus four at home. So I'm going to I'm gonna take San Francisco. I got the Cowboys on this one. I want to take a chance on them this week. I feel like they've been getting a bad rap and they shouldn't be this bad. To be honest with you, so I think I think they'll win. I think they'll actually win this game this week. But I got them with the spread. Yeah, I also got the Cowboys, and reason being is Dak got engaged, so I think he's got new motivation, <laughs> new everything to play for now. So why not? <laughs> you should have right? told me that before I made the pick. Oh my God. <laughs> he's lazy now. Okay, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Last game, the Monday night game. Got the New York Giants at the Pittsburgh Steelers. Pittsburgh is a favored minus six and a half. Um, Russell Wilson started. We were talking about it. The man started the game. He's back. And he looks pretty good. That's the crazy part. But it's it's easy to look good when you have a good defense like that. You know, so... Um, I don't care who's that quarterback. I don't think the Giants are good enough and Steelers defense gonna make their life even worse. So give me the Steelers to cover minus six and a half at home. Yeah, I got the Steelers as well. Didn't Russell Wilson say they're gonna go to the Super Bowl or something like that? Oh, <laughs> man. <laughs> but yeah, he's that confident in, in his team. He probably sees things we don't see, so um, I got that. Yeah, I also got the Steelers as well. Um, the Giants suck. <laughs> like there, 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 there's no way of sugarcoating it. And yeah, especially them being on the road, um, heading into Pittsburgh. You know, it's gonna be a tough one. The terrible towels are gonna be flying around. So there's no way the Giants can win this. So I got the I got the Steelers. All right, there you have it for week eight. Um, now to our best bet. This one, this week, uh, not feeling very comfortable with the best bets. Like not, nothing stands out that I absolutely love. So I think I'm gonna revisit the Kansas City Chiefs at the Las Vegas Raiders game. And I know it's a big spread. It's a bit risky to take the minus ten on my best bet with an undefeated record on the line. But I will. The Kansas City Chiefs, I have them covering on the road, minus 10. as my best bet. That's what I like about you, Uncle Sammy. Always going against the grain. <laughs> <laughs> Life on the edge. Uh, my best bet, I'm going to take... Uh, I'm going to take the uh, the Packers. I think the Jaguars' defense is horrible. I think they'll dismantle the defense. 
Their offense is just too dominant, so I think the Packers would easily cover that spread of minus four. All right, and uh, I got the Ravens this week as my best bet. Um, they're just a really, really good team, um, and it seems like you know they figured themselves out. Um, you know, obviously Derrick Henry being a new piece, um, but again, they're 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 so strong, and they're they're gonna be forced to be reckoned with this season. So I got them, and again, they're. They're hard to bet against, so I've learned my lesson betting against the Ravens. So not only am I going to bet um, for them to win, but they're also going to be my best bet this week. Perfect. All right, Jace, will end us off? Yeah, that's what that's our picks and best bets for week eight. Thank you for watching. We are the Laugh Kings. Find us anywhere and everywhere at direct.me slash Laugh Kings with a Z or a Z. On the socials at the Laugh Kings with a Z or a Z. All you audio heads, search the Laugh Kings on your local podcast. Peace, y'all.